So if you run a laser business, you probably end up doing lots of small projects and you end up with something that looks like this, a big pile of scrap. And some of it's too big to throw away. You know you're gonna use it for something. So what do you actually do? Well, the short answer is you build one of these. This is a little birdhouse I built. I actually built it for my sister-in-law. She needed something new. And I thought about maybe building one for myself as well because I do have lots of scrap. Anyway, what I wanna do in this episode is show you how to make one of these. So let's get going. How's it going everybody? Steve here and welcome to the shop. Uh, welcome back if you're a regular viewer. Uh, so as I mentioned in the lead in, uh, I, I end up with a lot of these, these scraps and, and I thought, you know, let's make some bird feeders. I have pieces that are fairly large and if you do any kind of acrylic cutting, you will as well. This bird feeder behind me here is actually all acrylic. Uh, now I did paint it and I'll show you uh, what I did there, but I'll show you, I'll just walk you through some of the design I did here and uh, and put it together and uh, we'll do some painting and that'll be it. It'll be a short project. So let's get going. All right, so I popped into Fusion 360. I used uh, Fusion 360 to design this, but uh, when I share this, and I will, uh, I'll share a SVG file so you don't have to have Fusion or understand CAD, you can just pop this into Inkscape if you wanted to make modifications. You know, maybe you want the roof to be a little shorter overhang or you want round corners or something. Anyway, you can go modify this. So, so the design itself is pretty simple. We have uh, a base which has a bunch of holes in it. These are drain holes. If, if you live in a rainy area or a snowy area, uh, since it's coming towards winter, uh, any water that gets in there will drain out. There's two side pieces that look like this. There's two end pieces that look like this. And up in the top here, there's, uh, if I can zoom in here, there's an inner beam which kind of holds the two sides together. Uh, and you'll see two slots in it. Those are for two little fingers that stick up and hold the, the cap in place. Uh, the last kind of detail here is there's a hole that runs all the way through the center. Now this is uh, three millimeter acrylic and we're gluing it so it won't, I mean, it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to drive a car over it. So uh, what I'd recommend is just support it from the bottom. So if you're gonna hang this in a tree or something, run a wire all the way through from the top through this hole in the bottom, twist it up so that all of the weight is bared by the, by the base itself rather than trying to hang it from the roof. This area here would be pretty fragile. So. Uh, anyway, that's that's the design. Uh, as I said, I'll share I'll share all these files um, uh, with the video. So if you want to build one of these, go right ahead. Anyway, let's get uh, let's get cutting. Okay, so let's uh, let's put our little bird feeder together. You can see if I put my hand on it, it's about the size of of my hand. So it's I don't know about six inches long, eight inches long. And I have the base, which is what we'll start with: two sides, two ends, two roof panels, and some miscellaneous pieces that kind of hold it together. Uh, I also have some acrylic glue. Now, if you don't have acrylic glue, you can also use Gorilla Glue. Uh, clear Gorilla Glue. So, uh, and of course, given that this uh, this glue is a bit hazardous, I'll put some some gloves on. So, and a stick to apply it. So what I'll do is I'll just do 
one piece at a time here. And now these, there's two of them that are the same, but one, there's a short end and a long end, and we want the long end to the outside. So, so again, I'm just gonna take a bit, of, a bit of glue here. This is actually, the wide part is actually a tab, so you can see it just kind of fits in here. And I'll also put a little right on the end here. And this should drop in here. What I'll do is I'll take a long piece of tape and just go right over the the ends here. Just to hold it in place. All right. So after that's dry, the panels, the roof panels will just sit on. You can see there's slots and there's also a hole in the center for the, the wire to come up through to hold it. And they just sit on like that. So we'll let, we'll let it dry and then we'll put those on. All right, so the last thing I did before I called this project finished was I painted it. And uh, what I did before I put the roof on, I painted the base, all of the frame blue. And then I painted the roof separately, obviously, and glued it on after. Uh, now, the reason I painted it, in part because it looks nicer, but the acrylic I had, the scrap I was using, was just black acrylic, uh, translucent acrylic. And I thought it was maybe a little ominous for, for uh, my sister-in-law's little chickadees. So uh, I just gave it a coat of paint. I called her and said, hey, I'm gonna paint it. What color do you want? And she picked blue and red. So the paint, the paint I used here was, was uh, standard Krylon paint. Uh, it's good for inside and outside and it sticks to acrylic really well. So it should last for, for a while. Uh, time will tell, but I, I've used Krylon before and it works, it works fairly well. So anyway, that's the painting effort and uh, we're pretty much finished here. So there you go, as promised, it was an easy project. I got to use some of the scrap that I've had in my scrap area for a while from other projects, and hopefully it inspires you to do the same thing. Now you may have noticed uh, the not so subtle top secret vi uh, video of my new laser that I've been working on. It's a 90 watt and I'll have videos of that up and coming. So stand by if you're interested in building something or uh, just interested in watching me build something uh, with the trials and tribulations I've had. Uh, now this current project, this bird feeder, uh, used a bunch of finger joints and that requires you to have some understanding of the kerf of your laser. So I'll put a video up here to talk about that if you're interested in, in understanding kerf. Go watch that video and I'll see you over there. Otherwise, uh, get out there and use some of this scrap and go make your world and I'll see you next time.